<laughs> Can you believe it? The sheetrock is done. And today we are going to start using the uh, Texture Pro 200. But first we gotta get all this cleaned up, taped up, and ready to go. So we're just going over it with a damp sponge to get any dust from sanding off the wall. Necessary? Maybe not, but for us amateurs, it'll give us a better surface to texture. And also it gives one last opportunity to see any big mistakes that need to maybe be sanded down or filled in or something like that. So we're getting the dust off right now. Right now I am putting tape and newspaper over our windows so that we don't get mud all over them. Why are you doing that? I just figured now since we got the vacuum out, we would go ahead and scrape up the big clumps. So later when we put the flooring in, they're not there. I already vacuumed that part though. I know, but we couldn't see where all the big clumps were when it was covered in all that dust. So we're gonna vacuum again? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> taking wads of newspaper and sticking them in the outlets or the outlet boxes so that we don't fill them full of mud when we texture it. Then we can just pull it back out and it should be clean in there. It's almost time. Getting the air compressor ready and uh, and we'll be spraying stuff. That's like your new sound effect. Yep. <laughs> this is the paper that we're going to use to cover the floor. What is it exactly? Builder's paper. Pro. Builder's paper. <laughs> Pro size. You guys recommended that we do this, and I think this is going to be great for keeping it a lot cleaner. Yeah, we probably should have done that before we started doing the mud on the walls. Yeah, that would have been a good idea too. But we are going to have to grind it, so. But now is a good time for sure. covered up by the, by the covers anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. So we could have done that probably with the outlets, but we stuck them full of paper. Yeah, I think We're gonna try on this room. This is like our experimental room. First time there's, there's some minor flaws in it. And so we're leaving the minor flaws to see how it comes out. And then we'll know if the minor flaws will be visible in the main living and kitchen area. So we'll see in the bedroom here. I think it'll come out good. How do you keep on going when everything you know is falling, falling to pieces? How do you keep on rolling, rolling with the ones you so with us? Dude, you're not a very good actor. Guys, come here. Flooring is done. Wow, it's beautiful, yeah. man. It's a nice brown floor. I just love it. 
I especially love all the blue tape. Yeah. That makes it really artsy, like super, super creative. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, I'm not very picky, so it looks great. <laughs> Let's cut off a couple strips. We'll tape them to the wall in the closet and then we can adjust the gun. We'll spray it on the strips of this and then we can like get the gun to the pattern we want. Sounds great. Okay, let's do that. All right, I'm gonna need your help. Okay. Because it's supposed to be like thin pancake batter. Okay. Apparently. Look at this right here. That's not pancake batter, right? That's more like cake batter. You yeah. think? Yeah, that's more like cake batter. Yeah. All right. My dad is the expert pancake maker, not me. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to be the expert now. That's probably too thick still, huh? Yeah, that's probably too thick still. Pretty good. You think good? Think that'll spot it on the wall good? Let's give it a try. So dad, if you're watching, you need to let me know how we did. Is this similar to your cake batter. I mean, to your pancake batter. Not your cake batter, but your pancake batter. Did we come close? We're gonna try it off the deck first. Off the deck? Just make sure it comes out. We're gonna shoot it off the deck? Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Southern, can yeah. you come and help? Uh -huh. um, let's, we're gonna take that screen and we're gonna pour that into here through the screen. Okay. So, we bought this cheap window screen. It was way cheaper than buying like just a replacement screen that you can like, you know, redo your screens. So anyway, we're gonna hold this on here like this. Uh -huh. You're gonna pour that through here so that we catch any chunks. Okay. Hopefully it'll work. Ready? Yep. Hopefully it goes through there. It might be too thick. Whoops, stop. It's still too it's thick, too I thick. think. Because the, the guy that I watched, uh -huh. when he did it, it poured, it oh, poured really? right through it. Okay, we need to add more water then. Yeah. It's not even coming through at nope. <laughs> But look here, doesn't that look like a perfect pancake? Yep. We thinned it out. We're gonna try it again here. Hopefully it'll pour through here. We're just going through one screen instead of through both. Hmm. So thick yeah, maybe. It's going in slowly though. Way too slowly. We thinned it out a little bit more. Hopefully third time's a charm. Hmm. <laughs> Better. All right, let's see if it sprays it all. Oh. Let's go give it a try on that paper. Yeah. Ready? Ready. All right. I think that looks great. What do you think? I think it looks like, what is it supposed to be, orange, orange peel? Orange peel. I think you got orange peel, babe. I think we got orange peel. <laughs> Good there job. We go. Way to go. Where you go, Seth? <laughs> All right. Well, let's go fill her up, I guess. And uh, I mean, let me just practice a little bit more here. Looks like what we're after. Oh, I got you guys. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. It kind of goes crazy. All right, let's go. Let's go put. Let's go fill this guy up. Check out all the chunks we caught, man. The screen idea was a good idea. Oh wow. Yeah. That is a super good. Idea, Cause that would get stuck. It might get stuck. But yeah, because, um, I mean, that's just clean. I mean, that's, you know, there's not like, it's not a dried up crusty bucket we used, but there was still some chunkies, still some chunkies in there. All right, let's go, uh, let's go texture something. The closet, maybe? Yeah, the closet. <laughs> okay, come on. We'll take it. This part's going fast. It's going pretty fast, but it's going through way more. We're not gonna have near enough mud. Really? Even oh, after no. what we bought? No, for that this- That was half a bucket right there. For this one room though. Oh, for the one room, I think we'll have enough, okay. yeah. So we're gonna have to get a lot more mud. <laughs> How are you feeling though? It's pretty fun? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was a little nerve wracking, but I think it's gonna come out just fine. I think it's looking awesome. Yeah. Good yeah. job. 
We need a spatula. Oh, you got one. Okay. Thank you. Yep. A spatula. A putty knife. <laughs> well, I mean, we've been talking about pancakes, so it makes sense to call it a spatula. It's okay. Because we're in motion. I can feel the sway. There's nothing to fear, my friend. Oh, no. It's the natural Colorado. Don't touch the walls. We have to remember, don't touch the walls. <laughs> Who's gonna be the first one to forget? Me. <laughs> I think it's gonna be me. I'm gonna lean up against it with my hair. I just let my body pause to the natural So unwind the dark. Take a look at the room. I think Marty did an amazing job. Look at that. Got all over the inside of the windowsills. Get up close so you can see. Looks like really consistent. Got the ceiling as well. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments what you think of Marty's job. I think he did great. Yeah, and so now we get to do the other bedroom. Yeah, we gotta prep it first. Yeah, coming up next, let's see. Maybe we'll go a little bit lighter on the, a little bit waterier on the mud and see how that one comes out. Sounds good. Yeah. Marty sent Seth and I on a mission and we are here at Home Depot. We're gonna try to gather all of the supplies to actually complete all of the- Texturing. Texturing <laughs> for the whole apartment. So hopefully what we get today will finish the project out. <laughs> Heavier than I remembered. <laughs> What's going on with my muscles today? <laughs> Come on, muscles. One down. <laughs> okay, here's the real muscles. <laughs> Dude, you made that look so easy. It is easy. <laughs> How much do you think these weigh? Um, 40? 50? Maybe 50. 50 pounds? Yeah. 50 or 60. Good I mean, job. A whole lot. Good job, Maybe. that's why you're here. <laughs> and in case anyone was wondering, they actually have a lot right now. A lot of buckets. Now before, there had only been a few left, but they've got lots today. So come get it. And the whole sign is gone that said that they were low on inventory. That's been removed. Is that the last one? How many we need? Eight total. One more. One more. Thanks, Seth. We decided to go ahead and get um, the boxes instead of the buckets for this part because we're gonna be putting all of this into a bucket anyways and adding a bunch of water. And so it makes sense just to get the box. These are the ones we got yesterday. Each of these covers 200 square feet. We bought, I think we bought two yesterday, but we calculated it and we need to buy two more. This stuff smells really bad. <laughs> it's like really sour once we get it all laid out. It's gross. We also got two more rolls of painter's tape to hold up the newspaper on the windows. It was $135 for all of this and we didn't get the military discount because Marty wasn't with us. And it costs a lot to get to town and back. How much did you figure this morning? Like that it cost? $7 or no, like $4. It's like with the gas prices, it's cost us about maybe around $5 round trip. <laughs> okay, Seth, take me home. I need keys first. You're sitting on them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seth is working on getting his driver's license, so he is getting in a lot of hours. How many are you up to right now? About 25. 25 hours? So you're yeah. about halfway. Yep. Okay, be safe. Buckle up. You got your lights on? <laughs> yeah, they're off. Let's go. All day and night. The world is noisy. And that's all right. Every sound. Good job, Seth. Thank you. you got us home. We didn't die. <laughs> we didn't die. <laughs> no, Seth is a really good driver, actually. I would say there's only been a couple of times where he scared us. But I wanted to show you guys our road because we've had a lot of questions about snow. So check out our driveway and our road. The gravel is holding up really good. And we have 
pretty much all the way out we're clear of snow our driveway has a little bit of snow left but it is also clearing up but we got mounds and mounds of snow all across the property you guys it's crazy right now because even though it's spring we still have so much snow at the house that it feels weird because you're gonna we want to dress like winter here but going to town you want to be able to be in sandals and short sleeves so it's kind of crazy Look how excited they get, you guys. They're like, give it to me, give it to me. They love these mealworms. All right, Bucky. You're all like little beggars. Look at you. You're all beggars. This is what they look like up close. Just little dried mealworms. They love them. So if you guys have good neighbors, you know how valuable they are. And while we were gone to Oklahoma, our neighbors took care of our chickens and looked after our place. And so we are extremely thankful. You know who you are. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are getting so many eggs already this year, as you saw from that pile of eggs that I need to start water glassing again because these guys are producing way more than we can eat and around here so many people have their own chickens that not very many people are interested in actually receiving eggs or paying for them so it doesn't make a lot of sense so we will be water glassing pretty soon this world with broken toes from my missteps and towards your soul a flame from foolish to wise we all bruise the same Bedroom number two is all papered up. What do you think, Marty? Looks good. Yeah? Yeah. Looks dark in here now. <laughs> yeah, it's dark now. I doubt about that. But yeah, that looks great. Now. Time to do the floor. Yeah, and the outlets. Yep, and the outlets. In every laugh has a cry, every loss has a gain. From foolish to wise, we all bruise the same. Whew. Quick little lunch there, man. And it is a beautiful day. Short sleeve weather today. Check out the sky. Oh, it's so blue. And we're making so much power. Uh, tons of, whoa, hey. Look at that, it's soft now, look. <laughs> melting, and it's melting. But we still got really big piles. I mean, look at that. That's still like, I don't know, five or six feet tall there, that pile. But. It is melting. Garden beds are starting. Look, that one's almost completely clear. Lots of snow over there still, though. It's because of the shade. We're going to have to cut down more trees so we can open that up some, have a place for a greenhouse and things like that. But we'll get into that later, guys. It's, it's starting to be work outside weather. However, we do have some more inside. Whoa, hey. All right, we still do have some inside work to do. You know, I mean, we got quite a bit actually, but we can't do too much with all this snow on the ground still. So hopefully by the time we're done in here, then we'll be ready. Get the excavator, start digging, start building. That's the hope anyway. I think Jules showed you that we got this room over here all prepped, ready to texture. Yes. All prepped. Well, we gotta tuck that cord up in there. But besides that, it's ready. And then, I don't know if she showed you this, man. It's kinda hard to see cause it's dark, but it came out beautiful. And I mean like, it looks great. <sighs> Look at that. Give you guys a nice close up there. Yeah, man, looks good. Came out great, great, great. At least I think it came out great. You could have a different opinion, but it's all looking good in there. We're gonna finish 
prepping everything right now. I'm hoping two hours, we'll have it all prepped, and then we're just gonna spray it all today. And this video, all gonna be sprayed. We'll check out the work, we'll look at the details, show you guys what we did, and get your opinions on it, of course. By the way, talking about prepping, guys, we are preppers, and we created a prepper checklist, man, to like, get stuff in order for an emergency. If you'd like to check out the prepper checklist, there's a QR code right over here. It's free, guys. We made it for ourselves, and we're sharing it with you, or there's a link down in the description. Print it out, put it on your fridge, and get yourself ready for whatever's coming down the road, right? All right, hopefully you guys will get that and put it to good use. It's totally free. It's just for you to have because, well, we ought to have something like that to get us organized. Let's get prepping this room. Put your hand in my hand, darling, say go. Keep your eyes on the horizon, stay go. All I need are your eyes, your mind. Get in the bathtub taped around here so that when we texture it, hopefully we don't get the bathtub all coated with mud. We're almost ready. It is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would though. This is the last piece to tape down and then the floor is all covered. Just going around and double checking that everything is ready, that everything's covered. I think we're ready, babe. I'm covered, look at that. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> uh, just hit the drill too hard. And... <laughs> wow. But hey, we've got paper down now. I know. <laughs> we should have done that to start with, don't you think? Probably. We will see how much work that ends up being. We gotta get this done today, don't you think? It has to be done today. It has to. Yeah, because paint starts tomorrow. Yeah. So we gotta let this dry overnight so that we can get painting. That's right. We've got all of our windows. Seth's working on finishing the big slider right now. We will get to that, but we're also going to have our... Are we going to have our cords through there? Why haven't we done the door yet? Because, yeah, we've got to have... We've Access. Got to cords to go through there. Okay, but then we'll do that as we get to it. Windows. So we, we could bring them through the sliding glass door. But we need to get out to get all the boxes of mud and stuff, so... Yeah. Either we go get the boxes of mud right now, bring them all up, before we go get them as we go. We're gonna probably need more water too, so we need a way to get out. Yeah, so we'll leave that. This door is all covered up. We've covered all of the pipes with newspaper. Everything's all wrapped up good. Covered any vents, hot water. Marty's covered. <laughs> I should have put on my Tyvek suit. Ah. We bought them and then didn't use them. Are you just out here enjoying the sunshine? <gasps> you hear the train. Ready to go to work? Marty said it's time to spray. Come on, come on, let's go help him. Come on, Lazy Bones. <laughs> let's go help Marty. Your help has arrived. Tux is here to help. All right, great. <laughs> First thing, we gotta turn on the air compressor. Come on, in here. You know how to do it. Come on, back right here. You ready? <laughs> oh. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now don't go too fast. <laughs> Otherwise, it makes a giant mess. <laughs> you sound like someone who has experience. Yeah. I'm not telling you guys not to go fast. I'm telling myself not to go too fast. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> 
it's so sensitive, like the drill, you know what I mean? You just barely go too far and then it just revs up. Talks like, what's going on, guys? <laughs> See the little chunkies on there? Yeah, it caught a lot. Wow. Maybe it doesn't matter, but I saw a guy on YouTube do that. Yeah. He looked like a oh, oh, oh. The glory of the youth is their strength. Yeah. And the glory of the old is their gray hair. You have a crown of glory. Well, hey, 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 strength. Hey, strength, you're making a mess. Yeah. So, that, it's about equally okay, bad go. mess right now. That's good. So the, uh, the gray hair thing, though, has to do with wisdom. Yeah. That's Hopefully true. I'll get some one day. Okay. Pull up your pants. Need a refill? But that room is done. Wow. Yeah. Two oh, rooms down. Nice. One room down. Well, no, two. Oh yeah, two rooms are down. <laughs> right. One's just dark right now. All right, let's do, um, let's do the bathroom, huh? Bathroom? Yeah. Want to put lights in there? Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys want to come look at this real quick? Yeah. What do you think? Oh yeah. That looks great. Just making sure there's no bare spots, but I think you did a great job, babe. All right. You know, I noticed that it, it actually shrinks up a little bit. In the other room, when it dried, it comes out a little bit flatter than it is right now. Hmm. Just a little bit, though, like, you know, because the stuff shrinks when it dries. Right. There's a lot of water in it. It's way humid in here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Very let's, humid. Let's do the bathroom. It's very human. That's what Seth used to say. It's human in here. <laughs> you did. Bathroom done. Yeah, take a look. Okay. Inspect it and see. Inspector. Am I the inspector? You're the inspector. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a great idea or not to give me that job. <laughs> Since I've never even seen this done before. But, babe, I think you're doing a great job. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I don't see any, like, heavy spots or bare spots. Oh. So, I would say he's doing a great job. Tux, you're inspecting? What do you think? Looks good? All right, Charles, let's go ahead and put, put the rest of that gallon in here. Oh, you really didn't. Was that going too gentle? Way less mud than we thought we were going to, didn't we? Yeah. We have yeah. like, how many in the car, you think? Two or three. Wow. Or eight. I think it's because in the bedrooms we did it, it was a thicker mixture, mm -hmm. and then we, we thinned it more in here to get, get more of a lighter orange peel effect. Yeah. We would have liked to have that in both bedrooms too, but we just didn't know. Yeah, we so. were like, Adding water, that's yeah. a lot of water. But I think it came out good. We'll yeah. see tomorrow when it's dry. Hopefully it's dry anyway. It was starting to get dark last night when we finished texturing everything. But man, it is amazing how good it came out. I mean, it's like almost perfect, I would say. I mean, I don't know what real like perfection is, but it is, it is beautiful. Let me, let me show you some details, all right? All right, I mean like, look at that. Yeah, yeah? And that look cool? I don't know, to me it looks great. Let's check out the bathroom here. Bathroom's looking good. One thing I did notice, right, if you're gonna be doing this, when you texture it, like, or I'm sure it's the same for spray and paint, now that I understand all this. You, if you spray straight on, right, then the, you can, it just looks better, I think. When you spray it at an angle, then you can see that it's at an angle. You see these right here? You can see that it came in at an angle like that. And I think that happened when I, when I hit this right here, it came in through the door and hit the wall. Does it really matter? Is it still perfect? Hmm. Yeah, it's still perfect. All right, but maybe you can see it. Can you even see it? Man, I mean, you can kind of see it barely if you like are looking for it. All right, like right here, there, right here, right here, right here. Few spots on there. Are you gonna be like sitting on the toilet, studying the wall with towel racks on there and towels hanging and stuff? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Closets came out good. One thing that I didn't really do was right here. It was just too much of a pain to get to. I don't think that matters either. 
I'm just gonna leave that. I don't even worry about it. Cause it's in the back side of the inside of the, you're never even gonna look up there. Who's gonna look up there? Nobody. Nobody, I tell you. We're moving right along. We've got like a month. I wanna have this whole thing done in one month. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be cranking out the work, cranking out the videos, and try to make some serious progress for you guys. Cause I know that you are tired of sheetrock. Guaranteed, you are not more tired than I am of sheetrock. The next video for you to watch is right over here. But in the meantime, we hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling.